Hello there, my name's Adam Cook, and I'm joined by someone I haven't spoken to in a while, but it's a great thing he's here with us now. Hello, Mike Stubbs, all right? Hello, I'm very good, thank you. This game was just called... Actually, I forget what it was called when it just came out on the Wii U. I think it was just Mario Tennis, but now it's called Mario Tennis Aces. And the thing I want to ask you about... I didn't much care for the Wii U version, but the reason I didn't much care for it is because it felt incredibly bare-bones. So when they announced it was coming to Switch with kind of like this massive story mode and loads of stuff, I thought, ooh, that game could be really good. In a preview sense, now you've played it, how's it, how's it, you know, how's it looking, Stubbsy? So did the Wii U version not have a story mode? Not at all. It had very little, mate. It was just basically an arcade mode tennis game. I think there might have been... An, an, an extra mode, but it was really bare bones, like shockingly so. It was basically, it felt like a game released at the end of the Wii U's life where they were like, let's just put it out. But now, it's not that anymore by the looks of it. I mean, this, basically what I played mostly was the story mode side of things. We started off right at the start mm. where it's kind of like beginner tutorial levels, like teaching you the mechanics, which, you know, you need. And we're very good at teaching you the mechanics, but it's not that difficult mm. to learn what four buttons do um no but then like yeah it looks i can't remember the, the exact premise but there's some kind of special tennis racket that's basically got the avengers infinity stones in it um <laughs> okay. and, like it's not even it's it's not even like uh this is slightly similar it is full on on the nose like we have clearly ripped this off from the avengers um okay. like they're pretty much the same colors and everything uh and then Something happens, and you've got to go search. Basically, you've got to go find the Infinity Stones, um, and they're scattered all over the world. And there's five of them, and they're all in different areas. And so you've got to do loads of different missions wait, wait. and stuff. You are talking basically, about kind of, Mario Tennis here, right? You're, you're not talking about actually talking about the Avengers. You are talking. This, this the, is Mario the, Tennis. This is Mario Tennis. But to get okay. the stones that you need to get on the tennis racket, you've got to like do all these different things and beat these bosses. Um, and so first off, we like the first one that you find is kind of in the jungle where you meet Donkey Kong, and then you play Bloody against hell. Donkey Kong. Um, uh, and I think you might be able to see this in some of the footage, depending on what we use. But uh, the Donkey Kong tennis court. Obviously, when you're playing tennis, and if you're doing like player versus player or normal arcade stuff, it's just a normal tennis court, or whatever. But mm. for the Donkey Kong kind of mission, uh, in the net, so the right hand side of the net, left hand side of the net, and then one in the middle is piranha plants and like if they pop they pop up at certain times and if if you hit the ball into one of them or if donkey kong hits the ball into one of them they kind of eat it and then even if you've hit it across to donkey kong they will just fire it straight back at you every time so it's kind of a disadvantage to you um so you've got to make you've got to miss them one well, doesn't really matter what donkey kong does um yeah and so well, that, you, that's you kind of a standard mission like you're describing a completely different game to the one I played. Like, I, I, I don't know if... I think that did come across in the stuff they'd shown trailer-wise, but like you are literally describing... Because I, I, I can sort of see why they haven't just gone like the Mario Kart route and called this you know, Deluxe or Definitive or... you know, This does sound like a new game. Like, they took that game and made a new game from it. Like, you know, because the story mode in that is, isn't a new thing. Like, they did, they've done that in Mario Tennis games in the past. It's just the last one just so bereft of story. So... Like, it, it, there's, there's lots of different kinds of shots as well, right? Like, different, like, they've yeah. added, I think they've added different shots to this one. I mean, the basic gameplay loop is the four face buttons on your Switch, your Switch controller is four mm. different types of shots. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember the name of them, but it's like top spin and drop shot and all that kind of thing. You just, yeah, yeah. It's, if you've ever played any tennis game on a console before, you know exactly what the deal is. Um, mm. What is a little bit more complex, and one of these mechanics took me absolutely ages to master, um, to the point where the lovely person who was kind of looking after us was like, "I'm going to teach you how to do this because I'm so bad at it." Um, <laughs> so basically, if the ball if the ball goes in a certain way, so generally if it's dropping out of the air quite high, you can do I think it's called a super shot, where yeah. you press the R trigger and then like you. Mario jumps up in the air to smash it down, but it takes you into kind of a first-person targeting thing that you can use motion controls to target, um, and you wow, target okay. exactly where the ball's going to go. Um, and it's a really powerful shot, and because you've got that extra level of targeting, 
it is genuinely it's quite difficult to defend against it um obviously you know what it's going to happen and stuff like that but uh and that's kind of a, quite a powerful shot um I feel like that might have been in one before, maybe. Um, that that is it's it's but, new for this this game, if you know what I mean. It's that wasn't in the Wii U. Right. Like, okay. the, all I can remember about the Wii U one is that now and again they'd throw a mushroom on the court, and whoever got it would go big, and that would obviously mean you would have a lot more power and kind of smash the ball at them. But then it, it kind of it was quite easily readable. You know, it didn't yeah. actually feel that great. It, it just everything about the Wii U version kind of felt empty and like everything you're just des- this feels like a brand it does feel like what you're describing sounds like a new game to me but the cool the cooler mechanic out of that system that yeah. i do want to touch on is when if your opponent does one of these powerful shots um or i mean if it's the ai you don't see the targeting you just see them absolutely whack it at you um yeah you could you can just return it normally like if you're in a, the right position um you can just return it normally however and again, this might change based on unlocking better equipment throughout the game, but during the demo we had, if you did that three times in a match, your racket breaks and you lose the game because if it's your last racket, you don't have another one to play with, which you know kind of makes okay. sense. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think that that can happen to opponents as well, although we didn't see that in our demo. Um, but And so to stop your racket from breaking, because like, you can hit those shots multiple times in a match depending on how close it is, um, so to give you kind of some way of defending against it instead of just giving up a point, there's the block mechanic. Now, the block mechanic is you press... Is it the A button that's on the right-hand side of the Nintendo thing? Mm. I think it's the A button. You yeah, press the is, A button, is, yeah. um, and there is like no prompt whatsoever. Outside of the tutorial, there is no button prompt, there is no timing meter or whatever. You have to press it, as the ball is basically on top of your character. Like, you've got to be in a good position anyway to meet the ball. And bear in mind, it's one of these super fast shots, so it's not easy. Um, and you've got to do it, like... The the margin for error on it is ridiculous, which is why I was terrible at it. Like, You're I could describing not... a parry. Yeah, basically. Like, I That's could not figure insane. out the timing whatsoever. And one of the boss fights, or the big boss fight that we saw, um, like, they would hit these powerful shots really often. Um, okay. And it got to the point where I found it like three times in a row because I just couldn't get the timing down. So someone had to come over and be like, "Here, this is this is kind of how you fix it." <laughs> um, and that was quite a cool mechanic because these the powerful shots that you can do do feel a little bit strong. Like you get to aim basically like down a sniper scope, exactly where you want to put it. And obviously in tennis, that's quite a powerful thing to be able to put a ball exactly where you want it. Um, I wonder how that would work you... in local multiplayer. Uh, I mean, uh, online it would I, obviously make sense, but or do you think is, this, I feel like, is yeah. it just a story thing? No, I feel like this is definitely going to be in the local the multiplayer. Thing. I mean, because uh. it is counterable. So, like, they wouldn't have yeah, the counter yeah, in there true. if it wasn't. Yeah, I feel like it is. I mean, I'm not 100% on that, um, but no, I feel like fair. it is. Yeah, yeah, no, that no, was really I, cool. I just wondered I if, that was... if they, like, you know, like, what is it? What is the Because ca- I'll get to the camera, literally goes into first person for this. Yeah, it, like yeah, that, that's, you are, that's totally new. It's basically looking like you are looking like down a sniper scope, and you can, and it's gyro <laughs> controlled as well as so. Um, Do and, you have to use gyro motion? No, you, you, have, can, I feel like, you can. Okay. you can turn it off. Um, okay, and you can literally target the exact like millimeter of the court that you want to, <laughs> the ball to bounce on. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. This sounds like a substantially new game. Um, just kind of using what they had, you know, and building on it, and that's kind of yeah, exciting. I would, I would because, say that's fair. Well, I mean, it's like I wasn't particularly. I mean, because I reviewed the last one and didn't like it very much, give it quite a low score for it. Especially, you know, Nintendo first party tends to do quite well generally, and I really did not like this, the last one. And yet, somehow, what you've told me has got me rather excited because. Good tennis games are great. Like, you know, there should be more tennis games. We're getting a bit of a resurgence with there's three tennis games this summer. Um so I guess, yeah, I thank you very much for going Stubbsy, and we'll you know, we'll obviously cover it, we'll review it on God is a Geek when the time comes, which is, I believe, mid June, I think. Yeah, June twenty second. I think there's a uh, demo out soon. That's right, yeah, there's like um they whatever well, they call them something different every time, like it was a test punch for arms or the yeah. you know, they whatever they're calling it, it's a it's a stress test, I guess. 
but yeah uh, thank you very much for going Stubbsy uh, where can people find you on the Twitter I am at Mike Stubbsy on Twitter nice and easy if nice and easy and you can fire questions at him I'm sure he'll try and answer them uh, just be nice that's all we ask that's all anyone asks thanks very much Stubbsy and we will see you in the next video or whenever you choose to watch cheers for now bye 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 <laughs>